This current challenge is called post order traversal. So in this challenge, we are going to complete a function and that function is called post order and it's going to receive one parameter, which is a node pointer. So what we're going to do here is called a post order traversal and we have to traverse the tree and print the values of the nodes. In my last video, we covered the pre-order traversal method and I showed you guys with this exact example. It was the same example and we used pre-order to traverse the tree and print the values of the nodes. So this is how the post-order traversal works. When you're doing a post-order traversal, you have to traverse the left child, then the right child, and then the root. So it will be something like this, left child, then right child, and then the root. But here we have many more nodes. This tree is bigger. So at first, this is what we're going to receive as the parameter. We're going to move here to these right nodes. And now this node is going to act as the roots. So we are going to switch here to the left child, but there is no left child because this is null. There is nothing here. So we're going to switch to this right child here. This is now going to become the roots. So we are going to visit this left child. This is a valid left child. From there, we are going to visit the left child of that node. But when we go here, there is nothing. There is no node. So we are going to visit the right child. So now this here is a leaf node. So we can print four. Then we will go back up and print three. Then we will visit the right node here. And then back to the roots. And then this one. And then this root right here. So the order is going to be four, three, six, five, two, one. Again, four, three, six, and then five, two, one. In the sample inputs, they have the same data as I just illustrated. And they also printed it like this, 436, 521. And this is what we had, 436, 521. So this is the code. We normally use recursion to traverse trees. So this function is called post order. It's a void function. So we don't have to return anything because all we have to do is print the values of the nodes. So this is our root parameter. It's a node pointer. And we check here, if the root is null, we simply return. So in our example here, whenever we visited a left child like this here, and it was null, we simply returned and then we moved to the right child. If it's not null, then we're going to visit the left child of that root. And then this left child is going to be passed again to our function to serve as the new root. So we are now going to visit the left child of that root and keep going in recursive fashion. Once we are done with the left child nodes, we're going to visit the right child nodes, and then we're going to print all the data. So that is what this function does. If you have any questions, guys, just drop them in the comment section and I'll reply to you as soon as I can. So this is C++. Let's run this solution here. We've passed sample test case zero and also sample test case one. So actually before I submit this, um, you can leave this as C out or we could also use the printf function from C. Now I'm going to comment out these C out statements and submit this code. We've passed all the test cases. I'm now going to grab this code here from this solution. Go up here, select C. And now I can paste my code here. So I'm going to submit it right away. This is in C. And we've also passed all the test cases. So that was the solution for the HackerRank challenge called Post Order Traversal. I hope you guys liked my solution. And if you did, please subscribe to my channel turn on your notifications and I'll catch you next time.